Hi guys, this is Gold Morning Amber Dawn, and I was going to use sticky notes, um, like tabs, and go through some of my old journals and read to you guys some of the entries from me going back to eight, 19, 1989. And um, I was reading through some of them and I found them upsetting. And then I thought, well, I could probably go from when I started my job at age 16, 17, my full-time job. But then I found that once I got into the illness and the um, difficult relationship, that um, my first, you know, it, it, it it's not much better, especially with the workplace um, illness. So then it's like more, it's further upsetting. And then I thought, well, I could, I could read from the Toronto years, but then that is extremely explicit. And again, there's a lot of triggering stuff, if you want to use that word, where I um, was in an unhealthy relationship while also continuing to struggle. And <laughs> honestly, I... And then the newest stuff, like in the back there, there's newer journals. It's just so fresh that I don't really want to, I don't want to read from it. So I have a dilemma. I mean, what do you do? do you, there, obviously, many of us wrote and started our diaries for, or continue to write in them for ourselves as an outlet. And they, I'm not, it's not to say that there isn't um, good writing in some of these old ones like some of these old ones i wrote really ama uh, amazing amazing to me considering what my um uh, abilities seem now as far as how d d descriptive i could be back then i want to share some of the more beautiful parts or the more interesting things uh revelations i'd have about life, you know, and how interesting it is when you're young, what you think you know versus what you don't know, or what you actually knew and were aware of versus uh, how you don't seem to learn it as easily when you're older. You're kind of um, not as wise, you know, you can be a wise, old wise soul when you're young and then go through a whole bunch of experiences that kind of uh, break you down or skew your perspectives. And anyway, I just wondered is anyone else struggling with this where they want to share and read some entries to people to open up a bit to the journal community some of their collection of journals but they're finding it um overwhelming like i'm finding myself filled with anxiety and overwhelmed at the thought of going through and deciding what pages okay these pages are okay i'll read these i'll share these um to share honestly but also um the, the unique perspective i had i mean anybody else struggling with the fact that they went through stuff that they really don't they don't honestly feel ready to read through yet like i don't feel ready to read through all the stuff regarding work doing the paper journal collection videos was difficult enough but to like go through certain entries and read about how i struggled or when i was um, cut off from um, the 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 income, you know, and how difficult it was. I don't I don't want to read about that or talk about it. I don't want to talk about it, but I do want to share. So what do I do? What do you guys What do you guys do in this instance? Do you go through your journals and sort of like try to skip over that stuff, or do you feel any emotional? Um, backlash after you've done that. By the way, this was painted by my friend Heather, who's extremely talented in various art forms. So this isn't a very good way for me to share it, but because it's dark and blurry here. And I just dropped the sticky note. So I'm going to end there. Just a question. So please let me know your thoughts if you want, um, because I know a lot of you are sharing and I think it's fantastic. I love those videos. I love hearing people read from their old diaries and journals just is anyone like me where you're like scared to do so scared about the emotional impact on yourself and just yeah overwhelmed 